everyone welcome back to lovely lavender wishes it's renee i hope you're having a great day today um so today i am going to be playing with these bb craft items that i got these butterfly buttons these wooden buttons um we'll be making a few things i've been kind of having fun with them already i'll show you a few things i did um, so all these little, little wooden buttons we're going to be playing with, but there's so many things you can do with these. So I was just kind of pulling things out of my drawers and let me show you a couple things. Um, so I just kind of put these on here. I didn't glue them all. I just kind of wanted to show you different things that you can do with these. So if you have any kind of, for instance, little stamps that you make on your own, you know, with little, your little stamps. You can decorate your stamps with these and you can um, put thread through these and make bows or what have you. So different stamps, little mini tags. These were those wooden um, pieces I made before. So if you ever want to know how to make these, check out a previous video. It's um, mini wooden ephemera pieces or mini wooden tags that I made. So I made this. And so... As you're making these, you can add these butterflies to these to give it more of a three-dimensional look. Just glue it down. You can add different um, eyelash thread or string through here if you want um, some little frill with it as well. You can bling these up just like um, this one. I have, so there was a butterfly here. So I figured I could put that on top of there. And you can bling up the butterflies with little sequins. Like that bling up the butterflies um, with glitter sequins what have you so you could use any kind of chipboard these were the little pieces of chipboard that I used in that previous video and just you know use these little wooden butterflies for that so that's a couple ideas any kind of stamping like this this is like um, a little stamp I had that I embossed and you can glue this and put um, a bow on here, a little bow or a little tie, kind of like what I did with these. I'm gonna be making a couple of these today, these little fabric clusters. Um, this I just used um, thread on, but I'm also gonna, today I'm gonna use some twine and see if I get a better look. Um, but yeah, you can kind of go through the little holes, make a little loop and give it a little, little decoration there. Um, if you have any slides, um, making those, um, what are these called? Specimen cards, I guess. Um, this one was the one that I waxed. I used the wax on. You could use the butterflies like that, like that. So many, I mean, there's just so many different ideas. Um, also, what I have done, um, you have all seen me do these in the past. These um, is when you take like a stamp, a butterfly stamp, and you stamp it with Versamark on this clear um, acetate paper or it's like kind of projector paper, I guess you'd call it. Um, but it's clear acetate paper. And you'd stamp the butterfly and you put with Versamark and then you put your clear or your white embossing powder. It could be any color embossing. I used white for this one. You could use black, you could use silver, copper, shiny ones, whatever. Um, and you put the embossing powder on and then you would cut this out. And I used this on my pop-up butterfly tutorial, but the same method. But you get this image, once you cut it out, you could put these butterflies on here. You could either bling them up, put ribbon through here, like a little ribbon, a little thread, or just leave it and have that. You could do the same thing with just regular stamps, cut these out and then have like more of a three-dimensional type uh, effect or you can put them on top kind of like how I did on my butterfly tutorial where you take the embossed piece and you glue just the middle piece down onto the wooden butterfly and then you get this other 3d look and you can have a whole page of these butterflies flying up I was thinking of doing something like this in my bible journal um, once I get to a butterfly page that I want to use butterflies on, you're going to see me using these a lot in my Bible journaling and in my junk journaling. But I'm probably, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do like a whole page of these butterflies like flying out. And then when you shut your page, 
these lay flat. And then when you open the page, you can kind of just fluff them up and get that three-dimensional look again. So this is really cool too to use in journals, junk journals, Bible journaling, things like that. So this is just um, using embossing powder on the clear acetate paper or transparency paper, projector paper, however you want to call it. They're, they're called different names. You can buy a package of this on Amazon or at, the, at your local office depot or wherever. But yeah, so I was just kind of fooling around with these. So much fun. You can, I have this homemade tag. Um, and you can just, you know, add them to tags. You can do so many things. But today, what I'm going to do is do a couple of these. Um, make these little fabric clusters. I'll show you how I did that. And then I'm going to make a tag out of one of them. And then I'm also going to do a journal card for my Bible. But I really wanted to kind of show you the versatility of these. And, oh, other things you can do. I also fooled around with embossing these. I was wondering, I'm like, can I emboss these? with, um, I had copper glitter. Let's see if the camera will focus. There we go. And so I just put the copper glitter all along the edges of these butterflies and embossed it. So yes, these can be embossed as well. So if you want to bling them up that way, you could put um, sequins on these. You could use gel pens and glitter them up, but I just use my embossing powder for that. So can you imagine like a whole page of these or, or these hanging down down the side of a page like this every other one maybe like that embossed with glitter all the way down i mean there's so many so many things you can do with these y'all my brain is about ready to explode i'm like oh my gosh i can do this and i can do that and i can do that and i can do that and then i was thinking of like you can even hang these as um if you wanted to do let me just grab some twine so like, let's say you attach the twine through all of these. I'm just gonna kinda. Let me see if, the, and, you, and you keep them equidistance apart like this and you can do a whole, like a whole string of these hanging down. You can make bookmarks and book tags out of these. Um, you can I was wondering if I could punch a hole. I'm gonna see, let me see if I could punch a hole in one of these um, with my hole punch. Let me see if I can get this out now. I'll just pull it out like this. But I was gonna see if I could punch a hole in one of these as well. So let's do it on camera and see what we can do here. Let me grab my crocodile because I've been punching holes in my little chipboards and these aren't that thick, so I'm thinking you could probably punch a hole. Let's see. So I'm gonna put this right here. Oh, yep, look at that. Easy peasy with the crocodile, probably with a hole punch as well. But look, you can punch a hole here. So if you wanted to string these or even use these on a chain, And you can hang these as little um, little charms hanging off the side of pages and hang them or you can link them together. Oh my gosh, there's just, <laughs> again, so many things you can do with these. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, like I said, my brain's about ready to just go. Like, I'm just like, wait, I could do this, I could do that, I could do that. But right now, we're gonna do these. <laughs> but yeah, this is just to give you an idea of the versatileness, you know, versatileness, I don't even know if that's a word, um, just all the versatile ways that you can use these butterflies. Um, yeah, you can bling up pretty much anything with these, and then you can put little decorations on them as well. So I'm probably going to be sitting down and doing a lot of little ephemera pieces throughout the day and just stacking them all up and putting them, getting them ready for journals. So those are just a few ideas. So let me move all this out of the way so we can work on our project. Okay, so today we're gonna work on something like this. And this is really, really easy. And then you can, these again are very versatile. You can use these for little clusters in your junk journals, you know, corner pieces. You can, if you have multiples, you can, add multiples down the side of your paper in your junk journal. 
So let's say, let's say this is the side of a piece of paper. You can, you know, put these down the sides and have these kind of hanging out. So that would be a really cool idea as well. You could use them for tags. Today I'm gonna make a tag out of one of these. And then there's another thing I'm gonna do with these as well on a future day. So let me grab, okay, my material. So I had this, this was gonna be my background piece. So all you do is just cut a square or a rectangle, you know, whatever, just cut, cut a piece. And then, oh, oh I have one right here. Um, I've been cutting little pieces of just the plain parts out of this piece of fabric I have. So I will grab this and then to fray the sides, I just kind of pull some of the threads out because I like that frayed look along the side. Throw those out. And then I do the same with this if I can. Some of these you can pull easier than others. And sometimes it's just like one side of the fabric, like this side the where the, where the thread is going, you can pull. But I like to just pull some out just to kind of give it that little frayed look, okay? And then I kind of just, I just attach this kind of like that, or you can, I don't want it too even, so kind of cattywampus. And then grab a couple, Let's see, what colors do I want to use? Oh, I think I want blue. Oh, this one's kind of cool. It's a darker one. Or do we want pink? Pink in that? No, I think I'm gonna go with the blue. I'm gonna keep it kind of, these a little bit more rustic. Okay, and then I have um, this twine this one i use thread on just a couple uh double loop of thread um just gonna just cut that and then what i always do i always make sure that my needle will go through whatever hole i'm going to use first because i've done that before where i've threaded my needle and then it wouldn't go through the hole it's like ah then i have to unthread my needle get a new you know find a new needle that'll go through and the problem i'm i the reason why I needed a bigger needle is because I needed a bigger hole to fit this twine in. And I always have issues trying to get, Ugh, it was almost there, trying to get thread through my, there's probably a way easier way to do this. Ah, uh, did it again, dang it. The other day I had no problem and of course I'm on camera, so of course I'll have problems. That's how it works. And I might even need a bigger hole. Ah, it's still not kind of going through. Y'all help me. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Let's see, will it go through? There we go, got it. Oh, got it, okay. So really the only thing, the easy way I do this is put a hole or a knot in the back, figure out where I wanna put my butterflies and then I'm gonna just kind of go through the fabric, come up through the first hole. Just kind of like you're sewing a button. I mean, you are sewing a button, it's a wooden button. So I go through one hole and I'm, you know, I'm gonna come back up. So I just kind of get it fastened on here a couple times, okay? Then I'm going to go through and over one more time, but this time I'm gonna keep about that much at the top, about this much, so I can make my uh, bow in the back, in the front. And so in the back then, all I do is kinda of go like this and make a little knot and, and make sure it's, uh, you know, fastened and tight and sealed won't come undone and then I cut this part so I have two pieces right here and then what I'm gonna do here is not this in the front so there's the first one now here's gonna make the knot so now this won't come apart at all so now you have a knot and then this way I can make my little my little loop and then you just kind of fiddle around with it 
until it's the size you want. And where you want it. And then just tighten it down. Cute. And then just cut your extra off. But it's always better to have extra than less. <laughs> because it's so much easier to work with when you have extra. So you can see the difference with the thread. It's just a little, it's kind of wispy, which is kind of cool with the butterflies. And then this is with the twine. You have more of a pronounced bow or pronounced look, I guess. So this one, let's see, which way do we want our butterfly to go this? That way? Or do you want them going off that way? We'll kind of have them go enough that way. Okay, so I'm gonna make my knot at the end of the string. And this will all be hidden, the back part will be hidden so you won't even know that it's all the knots and stuff back there. I like doing this sometimes because this is kind of relaxing, doing just like this hand sewing type thing versus using a sewing machine. I like just kind of, that's one thing, I, one reason why I like buttons a lot because you can just kind of come in here and play around with them and bling them up or use whatever kind of um, fabric or twine or ribbon. If you have a thin ribbon that'll go through these holes, you can do that as well. Kind of leave about that much and then go in the back and then I take my needle and I go under some of the thread that I have back there and then before it goes into the full loop I kind of I loop my thread underneath it like that Woo. don't let this go and I do it a couple times to make sure that it's secure and then just cut it okay and then this part and then just knot it in the front and then do your little loop oh my gosh I love these little butterflies y'all there's so many things that you can do with them but I'll be you'll be seeing me use these a lot in the future um, in my junk journaling and in my bobble journaling But I really wanted to show you just a few things that you can do with them today. And get your creative juices flowing because I know y'all are gonna come up with some great ideas as well. You can make jewelry out of these. Okay, so all this is extra, don't need that. Let me put that to the side. Okay, so there's a couple. So you can make a variety of these and just have these going down your pages, use them for little um, ephemera pieces or what have you. But, okay, so for today, um, I had this tag, just regular old tag, but I love this like farmhouse kind of look, and I thought this was perfect for that farmhouse look. So I was gonna kind of attach this to a tag, and I had this little stamp already made. Um, it says, home sweet home, just a little, so I'm thinking of maybe putting this down here. I want the butterflies to kind of be like, and I don't like everything like matchy matchy. I like things hanging off and um, catty wampus and stuff. <laughs> Not all the same. Yeah. Okay. Grab my glue. So yeah, you can make tags out of these. Or embellish just embellish everything with these home sweet home hope you all are feeling that after being home this long during COVID <laughs> hope your home still feels like home sweet home That should be enough glue because I like having the edges. I don't like gluing all the way to the edges because I like having the edges um, 
like kind of free. So it, it gives it a, that little dimension. Oh y'all, I love it. <gasps> so cute. So easy, so cute. And look at that. So there you go. There's your little tag. And then you can put ribbon, tool, more twine, whatever. You could even, now that I'm thinking about it, like maybe another, like a, that one's a little too bright for that, but maybe, you know, you could have one hanging down with twine. I might even add one down here. Or one over here flying off, I don't know. But yeah, you can have them hanging down with twine as little charms off tags. So kind of like, you know, we put the hole in this one. You could have, you put a hole in one on the, in the wing and you can have them hanging down for tag, you know, little charms off tags, things like that as well. But so here's our first one. Here's a tag. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I was go we're thinking of working on, um, let me put that to the side. I was thinking of working on little journal card for my Bible. And um, I had this uh, little, I don't know, just little tag here, I guess, use your wings. And I found this, um, this uh, kind of butterfly, again, rustic kind of, kind of paper. So let me grab my, so this is gonna be a journal card for my Bible, for Bible journaling. And so I'm just gonna cut this in a kind of little rectangular shape because it's gonna go in the in my uh, the side of my Bible. And I wanna make sure this will fit. So let's go like about there. This will go in the margin of my Bible. That's what I was trying to figure out, the word for margin. <laughs> the margin of my Bible. So, and then this is going to be a page flip. So I'm going to use, I've got these two little butterfly washi tapes. Let's see which one. I've got that one. That's got a lot of pink in it, but this has pink too. This has, oh, these are like the butterflies flying up. Okay, I'm going to use this one. So to make a flip for your Bible, or for anything, junk journals, Bible, um, they're called tippins a lot of times. You can just attach it with washi tape. And what I'll do is I cut it so it's, it, you don't want it to go below where your paper, below or above where your paper is going to flip because it'll, it'll impede the, the motion of the page. And then what I do, a lot of times with washi tape, you want to add glue because washi tape comes off. But this one seems to be pretty strong, but I'm going to add glue to the bottom, the inside one. So I'll put washi tape on the outside as well as the inside just to kind of give it some sturdiness and hold. And this one's got glue on it, so it'll hold it. And then I cut that, seal it real good. And then there's my flip. So in my Bible, when this is in my my um, margin, I could even make this a flip eat as well. I could put washi tape here and this have this whole thing flip. So depending on how many notes I want to take, um, I'll see when I when I insert this in my Bible. But um, so here I could flip and write my notes or my prayers on this side. And then if I wanted to, I can flip and put notes on this side as well. And then on the inside here, I can put pictures or prayer cards or whatever else I want. But I wanted to add these butterflies as well because it's called, it's saying use your wings. I wanna make sure I'm using my wings. So where's my, my needle? I'm going to use this thread. I had this like kind of, again, a rustic type thread. Let's see if I can get it through the needle this time. <laughs> Sometimes with this kind of really, oh, whoo, did it. Sometimes it's a little harder when the thread is all. Okay, I'm gonna need to have three of these, so hmm, we'll see if I need more, I'll get more. 
Okay. So this time, I'm going to just put the knot in the back of the butterfly because I'm gonna just glue. I'm thinking this guy's gonna go here. This guy's gonna kinda come off the page and this guy will be on the page, I'm thinking. Maybe like that, like he's flying up, okay. So let's see if this will stay or if the knot will come through. Oh, knot's gonna come through. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm holding it in the back like this and what I'm gonna do is just kinda seal it like I'm gonna knot it myself by kind of going, so I'm gonna make sure this kind of goes over it and seals it down, if that makes sense, and secures it. See, it's securing it back there. And then when this is glued down, that'll hold it as well. But I just wanna make sure. So I'm gonna do it one more time just to make sure. I mean, I'm always just kind of improvising on knots and stuff. As long as it's secure, it'll be good. Okay, and same thing now. I'm gonna leave that in the front. I'm gonna put this under the thread and go through the loop and tighten it down. And one time should be good because I'm gonna be gluing this really well on the page, so. Gotta see if I can make a bow. My big old fingers. Just had just enough there. See, it's why it's always better to have more than enough so you're not trying to... Oh, that's so cute. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna snip that little piece off. Okay, there's my first butterfly. Cute. And if you don't want the... See, I don't mind having this in the back because when I glue it, I want it to kind of be almost kind of flying off the page. So that's giving it its raised look. Now, if you don't want that, if you want to glue it flat to it, you can just make a bow and glue it to the front. So we can try that too. Let's see. Let's, let's see how that'll work. That way you don't even have the big old knot in the back. So you can just do something like this if you want. Make your own bow. So you have options. And then just glue that to the top. Or you could even, like if you didn't want to do bows, like I said before, you could do like little blingy decorations or sequins or something like that. So let's see, this one is going to just get glued. I just like sewing. <laughs> I like doing everything kind of the hard way, but not really. Like I really, I like, I want this one to be floating off the page. This one is going to be right there. And this one I think is gonna be floating off the page too. Or maybe we could even do You can stack these, I'm trying to see how this would work. You can, hmm, <laughs> or maybe even having, ooh, I like that too. Hmm, now I'm taking all my other butterflies, get more ideas. Ooh, I like that too. Okay, let's glue this guy. <laughs> we 
Again, my brain's going in so many different directions, y'all. But there's so many things you can do with these. So this is kind of like using pop dots, where you're gonna get that dimension on your page. Okay, that's gotta sit there for a little while. Get rid of that. Okay, let's glue this guy. So depending on how thick you want, like this is gonna go in my Bible, so if you don't want the dimension because you want your Bible flat, you know, your page flat, then you gotta take that into consideration as well. Okay, I don't need glue up on that one wing because it's gonna be hanging off. Or is it this wing? I don't remember which wing it was. Okay, let's put glue. <laughs> I took glue off the wrong wing. That looks like I'm gonna need more glue. this we don't need it right there okay and I really like this so I'm gonna glue this one down here and I want it hanging off the page this will all go in my Bible eventually so A lot of times I'll make these cards ahead of time and then I can just go through my drawer and grab the card and then I have it ready for my Bible page for whatever page I'm working on at that moment. Oh, I like that. And I, do I want to put a bow on that one as well? Let's see. Let's try it and see. Like fiddling with it. Try and get the perfect bow. Cute. Yes, okay. So let's glue this. Yep. I love these colors too right there. And y'all, when I was showing you these the other day, I missed this one. This one's a pink one and yellow, pink and yellow. This one's cute too. Make that bow just a tiny smaller, tiny fraction smaller. Cause I wanna see the butterfly. Okay, ooh, see this one's almost flat. When you press it down, it's almost just as flat as these, so there's really not that much. Okay, and then did I wanna use this one? So when this flips open, look, the butterfly kinda hangs off the little edge there, and then this one's gonna hang off this edge. And do we want it up here? Help me, y'all. Where should we put it? I think it's gonna have to go up here. It'll kind of be going that way. So they're kind of like flying off into... So yeah, I'm gonna use this one. I'm also looking at this one with the glitter, <laughs> with the embossed. I'll do another, I'll do something else with that. I'll make a bunch of those. So yes, you can emboss these with embossing powder which was, I was so excited about. Ah, oh, this is so cute, y'all. Okay, there we go. So super easy to do. These are easy to make. Just take some embossing powder and put it on, um, get whatever stamps you have and put it on um, clear acetate paper. And you get that clear, like feathery look, you know, airy look. Well, there we go. Let me plug this up and show this to you close up. So here is our journal card for our Bible. So this will open up, it says use your wings. 
open up. You have room here. You could put a picture here or journal more in there. Have your prayer request. And then if you want, you could either glue this flat down into your Bible or use more washi tape and have this as a flip as well. So then you have even more room for journaling and then you still have your your column, your side for your Bible for more notes or pictures. Or you could send this as a card or whatever, but I'm gonna use it in my Bible. So there you go. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. Um, hopefully this shows you all these different ideas. Again, I got these in a pack of 200. They come in two packs of these. Um, so a pack of 200 of these wooden butterfly beads are from BB Craft. I'll put the all the um, information in the link down below. But I hope this at least you know showed you all the versatile ways that you can use these. You can emboss them and put them on tags and make little little fabric snippets. And then this is the other little tag we made. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, oh my gosh, y'all. Well, that'll be a little too thick. But this would be this might be a really cool little bookmark or a tag top. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at both of them. They kind of go together. I wasn't expecting that to happen either, but hey. But that, those are the things we made today and all the different things that you can use these little butterflies for. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.